Hey gamers, in this episode we're going to talk about narrating romance. Hey gamers, welcome back to Game Master's Dungeon. I'm Brian, your Game Master. Today's video is going to tack on to one we did a couple of weeks ago about whether or not you should include love interests to your game. We're going to talk about narrating the romance. Now, like I said before in the previous video, I'm not talking about the gratuitous sex and all that stuff. This video is where I'm talking about Okay, so you've decided to include these love entrants. Now, how are you going to role play that without it being weird and awkward? Uh, some uh, one of the subscribers and I were kind of having a conversation down in the comments um, about how do you like how do you do this without it being weird, or how do you um, get past it being weird and things like that. And you know, I didn't really have a good answer then, and this answer is not going to be like written in stone. This is not something you're going to be able to quote. And, you know, for all time, this is going to be the answer um, because it varies by person. You know, like when I first started role playing, just in general, it took me a while to get over the apprehensiveness of being in character. But now when I was in games and then there were love interests uh, added and then I was I had to interact with that. That was really, really weird <laughs> because basically, like if if anyone was to look at the situation from outside, so you and your friends are all at the table and somebody, you know, somebody just walks into the room and, hey, what's going on? And sees this dude talking to this dude and they're like, they're having a conversation and they're like, they're flirting back and forth or they're talking about, you know, intimate topics and, and things like that in character. Uh, they're going to be like, uh, it's going to look weird. And some of you may not, you know, want that kind of thing in your game. So like I said, we're going to harken back to that video like... Um, if you're not going to include the love interest, this video probably isn't for you, um, just because it's kind of tied to the same thing. But there may be some things that you might take out of it about how to getting over the apprehensiveness, how to get past it being weird. So obviously, first thing you need to do, you need to make sure, like I said, the other video is, is clear with everybody in the game session. Okay, I want to, you know, if you're the GM, you know, which is hopefully why you're here, you're learning some skills from me. Um, you're the GM, you're going to, okay guys, gals, I want to add this into my game. Are you guys comfortable with these kind of topics? You know, even if one person is adamant against it, I would, I would honestly not include it. Everybody needs to be for it in some level or another. Um, because they can be like, yeah, sure, or whatever. And they're thinking, oh yeah, well, you know, I, I get to flirt with the girl at the diner or whatever between sessions. You know, but I'm talking... This is going to be like an important story point. This is going to be, it could be between the characters and an NPC. It could even be between two characters, two player characters. That's where it gets the weirdest. That's where it gets the weirdest. So I'll give you an example. So in my game, I'm running my vampire game. So my NPC that I've created, um, so for Vampire the Requiem, has sired one of my player's characters but this character is, um, she's a, she's a maquette and she's very frivolous with her sexuality, right? She's lived a very long time. She's just in it for pleasure and sport. So she has this, these flings with the, the player character that she created, right? And, um, I don't really go into tons of detail or tons of dialogue and conversations, um, about those kind of topics because for, for the guy playing it, it's, you know, he, I think he, he, maybe he thinks it's a little weird, um, but I'm going to work it in slow. Basically, I just kind of tell him about stuff that happens like off camera, off stage, right? Um, but I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's great in the sense that then the, the character is going to feel that there's like this bond and if something was to happen to this NPC that I've created, um, it's going to create some really great drama, some great stories, or maybe the, the NPC like betrays the character or tries to kill the character or something. If I do anything to kind of interrupt this bond that I'm trying to create, it's going to create some really good drama and really good story opportunities. That's why I'm including it. But now back to the topic at hand, how to make it not weird. Well, 
go slow. It's like dry, It's like when you first start learning to drive a car. I don't really know how to explain it. It's, it's tough, like I said, because it's going to be different for everyone. It's like learning to drive a car. You don't just get on the freeway and do 80 miles an hour. No, you're putting around in a parking lot. Like my dad took me when I got my first manual transmission car, um, took me into a parking lot behind the mall, and we spent like an hour back there going about 15, 20 something miles an hour going from first, first to third over and over and over again. So we took it slow. So if you're going to introduce these um, love interests, obviously if you want to expand upon the romance, you know, the, the role playing part of I'm playing the love interest and you're the character, you know, how do we interact like a couple would uh, without it being, especially like if it's two guys or two girls or, you know, maybe maybe it's a it's a female playing the character and her boyfriend's there at the party, you know, in the party. How do I interact with her without it looking like I'm flirting? It's it's a really difficult thing to do. Um, all I can say is that if you think it's going to be difficult or cause issues, don't do it. Um, but if you want to include it, go slow. Small conversations. Start with a lot of stuff off stage. Oh yeah, you and her, they, you know, you guys go to the movies. And then you do your thing afterwards, you know, be very vague, right? Because obviously, you know, if you're going to be a couple, there's going to be intimate moments, right? That's just the nature of the beast, right? We're humans. We reproduce. We have feelings, that kind of stuff. Um, do stuff off stage, but then really save those really gripping drama moments. You know, say this, uh, the character doesn't come home one night because they're out, you know, fighting to save the world or whatever, whatever's going on in your game. You know, now the the love interest is like, where have you been? You're like, oh, it's not saving the world. And she gives you this whole, you know, BS kind of story. Don't give me that. You, However you want to run it, just know your players in your game. Make sure everyone is going to be on board. And then as you're doing it, like, get feedback. So you introduce it and into the first game, you have some some small conversations Right, you're having some, you know, some romantic interest between either players or the, M the NPCs and characters. Get lots of feedback, uh, specifically from the people that are involved in that, uh, to see where their comfort level is, because you don't want anybody to be uncomfortable. But I guarantee, like I said in the other video, if you can, if you can pull this off and really get those players to bond with either the NPC or the other character, um, it makes for really, really great storytelling because then you can be like, okay, how am I going to damage this bond? How am I going to stretch it? How am I going to break it? What am I going to What am I gonna do? And you've watched, obviously, a lot of movies, right? You know, the hero's got the love interest and she gets kidnapped and he takes on the mighty quest to slay the, the dragon king and, and get the princess back and they become married or whatever. Right, those kind of things drive stories, whole books, movies, everything for since we've been telling stories. I want you guys to know that you can make those kind of stories as well and have those epic moments. You just gotta be careful about it. I can't give you an answer and be like, do it this way. It's just not gonna happen. What I say, you look online, somebody else is gonna tell you something else. You talk to somebody else in your group is gonna say something else. So just know if you're going to include it, go slow, feedback, make sure everybody stays comfortable. If it gets to a point where there's uncomfort, cut it there, take it down one notch below, and leave it there. All right, gamers. So that was just my thoughts on role-playing romance. I know I was kind of like all over the place, and it's because it's, it's a really hard topic to talk about because um, there's a lot of different things to feed into it. But I hope you guys got some, some good information out of that. And you'll either be able to incorporate it into your game. Or afterwards you'll be like, well, maybe I won't. You know, it's sad that you don't. But I don't want you to include it. And then your game goes south, go bad uh, because of it. You always want to make sure you're providing the best content for your players. Because that's going to keep people coming back time and time again. Okay? So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Also, if you want to support my channel, hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so when I upload new content, you can be the first to view and to comment. 
Also, I'd love for you to join me over on Discord. The link to the server will be in the description box below. We're having all kinds of great conversations about all kinds of different gaming topics and life topics. I would love for you guys to come over and be a part of that. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at GameMastersDone1. I'm going to be posting updates on my gaming life, so the stuff I'm working on in Warhammer 40K, commissions I'm doing, the games I'm playing, um, content that I'm thinking of putting out. I may even start posing questions. You know, what kind of content would you like to see? Or between this and this topic, what would you like to hear me talk about? And I would love for you guys to be involved in that. Also, I want to see what you guys are doing in your gaming lives. Or you could put that kind of stuff down in the comments below. I want to see it either way. So, until I see you again in the dungeon, I'm Brian, your Game Master, and happy gaming.